moisture-free Marjorie, Washington's yeast infection. She's a participation trophy wife who has the complexion of a cafeteria crispito and a bad case of resting bitch body. And I fear she may be with us for a while. Earlier this year, she announced that her re-election campaign raised $3.2 million her first three months in office. But that comes as no surprise. Yeast is known for raising dough. After all, I am convinced she spends time in an oven because her hair is as dry as a bale of hay. If she trimmed her split ends, I'm telling you, she'd be fucking bald. She keeps her hair how she wants public schools. Segregated. Now, you won't convince me that Marjorie wasn't a test tube baby created in an ashtray by Neanderthals. And it always amazes me how she can put on a face full of supermarket makeup and still look like she isn't wearing any at all. But that could do with the fact that her skin tone is 50 shades of disgusting. Now, I'm not one to judge, but I've always thought Marjorie looked like someone who shoplifts from the Dollar General. I just never could figure out how she got it out of the store because I almost never see that old gal with a purse. <laughs> but then I saw the bags under her eyes. Ugh. She recently popped up like a hemorrhoid and said she would vote in favor of the $1 trillion infrastructure bill Democrats are trying to pass in the House. But only as long as pumpkin tits was rightfully returned back to the White House and November's election results were decertified. I'm sure someone with her brain capacity is part of a family tree that could be used as a straight line for a sobriety test. God bless her nicotine-coated heart. Now, 2024 will be here before we know it, and it's going to make things pretty tricky for people like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Red state governors like Greg Abbott, Ron DeSantis, and Christy Noem have been wearing their pumpkin tit training bras and governing their states the way Trumpy Dumpty would. These three want to be president so bad. Although... I think Christy would settle for being Trump's new Stormy Daniels. She did raise money to get a mini Mount Rushmore made with Trump's face on it. And she unnecessarily joined him on Air Force One for a little chat. Or a trip to the Mile High Club. Someone just needs to put her back in the stables with the rest of the horse teeth. But DeSantis may be the only one of these three with an actual chance, especially since Abbott is failing to appease pumpkin tits with the forensic election audit that's happening here in Texas. A new poll shows support for Trump has dropped 20 points as support for Ronald skyrockets, bringing him and Trump to a tie. Now